Today is the 26th? 20, 26th? Or 25th? 25th of February. And Raleigh and I came to the community garden one year after we intended on doing this. Probably. It's the beginning of spring. And we are planting, I don't know, maybe 30 Raleigh? 30 fruit trees. 25 or 30 fruit trees. We have jackfruits, we have nectarine, we have white sapote, um, mulberries, jujube or jujube, um, lychee, longan. Raleigh's planting one there. We planted one more pitaya on the pitaya stand we built a couple days ago. We are planting another avocado over right there. Planted just a year. Yeah. We planted all this in March of March of last year, a year ago. Yeah. This avocado is gonna get grafted. That's a manzana de agua. This is a sugar apple, a gigantic jackfruit there, a jaboticaba from seed that Raleigh has been growing, a carambola, and over there. In that area, we have a Wanana behind the shed, a uh, Relinia behind the shed, and a uh, Jamaican Lily Koi. And yeah, it's looking good. It's pretty exciting. We may bring one more plant, a Natemoya or a Monstera, but we're not sure yet. I don't think we're gonna have time today to plant everything, but it's exciting. How do you feel, Raleigh? How do you feel? That's cool. Super cool to get this. This is your stuff. dream. Yeah, it's always a dream to have this for like four years now in the making. It's been since I was at the club, and they told me that the on-site security that lived here would be gone because they were the drug dealers. <laughs> Very funny. And here it is now. It's for the community. Someone five years from now is gonna stumble across this, this place and say, what is that monstrous thing hanging from the tree? Maybe that'll be their first introduction to jackfruit. There'll be three here, so we'll have a few. We wanted to, and we also have like the tamarind. Yeah. We wanted really super abundant trees. The mangoes, once they start doing their thing, the bananas, of course, I mean, for this little community, sugar apple and all this stuff is, is already ready to fruit. I can't believe a three-year-old Pitanga, I planted some seed flower this year. Super cool to see that. And Jaboticaba may be 15 years from now, but. <laughs> and there's also sugar cane back there in the corner and galangal. It's really pretty. And the beds look nice this time of the year. They're all planted out. There's plenty of flowers and vegetables. Everyone has been planting out. We just planted these blueberries on a volunteer day. There's more bananas. Those are the leftover flats from the plant sale. And these are all the beds. They look really good. This is the shed that the club bought with all the funds that it hasn't been accumulating. Here's some sugar cane and there's coconuts. We call it the cocaine wall cocoa sugar um, and yeah along that fence there are some muscadine grapes and natives and herbs this is like a small community area where hopefully in the future volunteers can tend to all of this this year it was mainly planted out by a couple of people but the idea is that it is maintained by the volunteers. All the edges, the pollinator attractants. Here's a cool sunflower. This is a muscadine grape from which we harvested tons of grapes this year and we transplanted it because it's just gonna get too big in our yard. And we're making meat so we'll have a good memory of it. And hopefully it will produce a lot here too. And we planted another muscadine there. And there's the compost. These are supposed to be accessible beds for people that have 
uh, issues kneeling or or sitting and want to garden a little bit higher. That's a community project with strawberries, another one with onions, and these two were actually rented. That one is also a community project. We still have to work a little bit in getting a better system for our compost. And these are all also plants left over from the plant sale. This is a pineapple canoe. Members wanted to plant a canoe. We were a little bit sad because we liked the canoe so much and it was totally usable, but it looks kind of cool. There's a strawberry tree and several papayas that have been planted. Papayas. Papayas. Chocolate zapote. And there's Raleigh making his dream come through. Fork ever bring mulberry. If you'd have seen the roots on this, you'd have freaked. We made these plants not even maybe four months ago, three months ago. We did it in the perfect time. Incredible root system, just. Uh, well. Go I mean, gorgeous. That little thing's gonna. Here goes Raleigh to his next plant. This is a cool one. This is a hard one to separate with, but it kind of deserves, I think, to be in a community garden. You want to eat these? We could, because it's going to get planted. It would be cool that they were bigger, but I don't think they are going to get much oh bigger. Gosh. Let me help you. Let me help so, you. No, you can keep filming. Okay. We just repotted this. How long ago did we repot this? Like a maybe a month. The roots are already on the bottom. I don't know how thick the root balls are going to be, but... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. BC, look at that. Yeah, I killed a little bit of the roots. That's, that's okay. okay. Oh, my God. This is one that may need some more good soil. Okay, I have the two wheelbarrows there full. dust and you want this to sprawl east to west north to south like that I think north to south Is yeah okay I want it kind of to I mean it would block a little bit of the I think that's it's good that okay good well yeah I know the root balls intact let's go for that side mm, the nauseums like me Yeah, I think it looks good. Does that look? Yeah, perfect actually. Cool. It's not like we had said, but I think it's actually better than before. It's perfect because it can grow that way. Okay. We can train it. Oh yeah, I did it east to west. I did yeah, it. but it's totally good. Yeah, and it can, it's got a lot of I like things. it. It's and plus, it's going to grow in every single direction. Yeah, we know it. Cool. These are the little fruits. Juju B, if people don't know, is own five. They get a little bit bigger than this, well, a lot like this big, and they are, they taste almost like Granny Smith apples. Well, at least that's how crunchy they are. I really like I think them. they're like a sweet Granny Smith. Yeah, you know? totally. And they can dry on the tree and are delicious, Probably like Chinese dates. dates. Yes. Incredible. Really cool plant. And you have, Raleigh was telling me that you have to, like, cut these back every year or every two years, like, almost to the ground so that they flush back because they grow that fast so mm. my buddy Bruckner not a buddy a friend we got oh by the way I want to tell you that bud wood I looked at Elisa and I started out today there's no way that that it's got to be a purple sugar apple because the leaves are too lanceolate they're not oblong and the Lisa leaves are really fat 
So you think it's a sugar apple? I think it's a sugar apple that he keeps calling for broken wood. Or it's some cool, weird, old school mm -hmm. zills, something that we don't know. Now he grafted it. Yeah. Super, super cool though. Cool. Did you be in the ground? What was I going to say about Bruckner? That Bruckner has oh, yeah, one of these trees. We ate them and they're, they get big. They're really good. Okay. I think our area fruits quicker because we're, we're more cold. Yeah. We're a little bit earlier than our friends in Sarasota. Okay. But well, this is what we're doing today. What did you want to say? Uh, I just I was going to say, but we unfortunately don't have the space and the thing kind of gets... Yeah. So, moving on down the road.